Hi, I'm Lily Bradford, and you're watching and reading Rising Talent Magazine. At what age did you start singing? I started singing at six, and the story of how I started singing is actually pretty funny. When I was six years old, it was karaoke night on a Wednesday at a restaurant, and I asked my mom if I could sing. She said, of course. And then once I was done singing, the audience cheered, and that's when I realized I wanted to become a singer. Who are your inspirations in life and in music? My inspirations in life is my mom, my sister, and my dad. Of course. <laughs> and my inspirations in music, maybe Idina Menzel career-wise, and Taylor Swift a bit song-wise. What is your favorite part about singing and performing? My favorite part about singing and performing is the, that the audience is happy. I want to make sure that the audience is entertained, happy, and excited the entire time. I want them to feel emotions. Sometimes happy, sometimes sad, and sometimes just excited to see the performance. What is your favorite song to sing live? My favorite song to sing live is In My Dreams from the Broadway musical Anastasia. I just think it's so pretty and it's pretty amazing. I love the high notes. I love the in the middle notes. I love everything about that song. It's just amazing. Where has been your favorite place you have performed? My favorite place that I've performed, I've only sang one song there, but it's the Broward Performing Arts Center. I think it's so much fun to perform there, well, acting-wise, but it's lots of fun. If you could perform anywhere in the world, where would it have to be? Broadway, of course! Do you have any upcoming projects or performances coming up? Yes. I'm going to be doing in the summer in July when this is going to be aired. <laughs> I'm going to be doing making it on Broadway. Awesome. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? What you'll be doing? Okay. So it will be a workshop and you will be learning songs to sing and you'll learn how to become a better singer, actor, and dancer. It sounds really fun, so I'm all in. <laughs> Do you have advice for anyone wanting to sing or um, act in the future? My advice is just do it. Even if it's not exactly on Broadway or in the stage yet. Well, at home, for example, for a karaoke night. Don't be shy. That's because you're always going to be shy unless you do it. What is your favorite current TV show? Okay. Um, so there's like a three-way tie between that. <laughs> so you have She-Ra and the Princess of Power. I'm not sure if they're going to make another season since the last one was super good and there's no cliffhangers. So I don't think they're making another season. But it's really good. I recommend you watching it. Then there's Carmen San Diego, who I'm sure is not going to make a final season. No spoilers, because this season is amazing. You should probably check it out. But you should probably watch the first season since it's a storyline. And Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. I love it. It's about dinosaurs. And there's a bunch of girl power in it, which I love. Okay, favorite movie? My favorite movie? I think all the Disney movies. I'm sorry, I just can't choose one. <laughs> okay, who is your favorite Disney princess? Hmm, Aurora. Because of her pink dress and also because I think she's very pretty. But I also like Elsa too. I think she's really cool, especially with her ice powers. What is one thing you cannot live without? 
um, my twin sister, my mom, and Lammy. Okay. What is your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject is in school is reading. I love to read. To be honest, if you leave me by myself for about an hour, I'll probably be halfway through the book. What do you like to do in your free time? What I like to do in my free time is flamenco, golf, singing, acting, dancing, hanging out with friends, you know, playing on my phone. I also like to do architecture on Minecraft. And also, I can definitely not forget about watching TV and eating chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Do you have any pets? Um, we have one pet fish named Runner and he's a posthumous, although we want a puppy. Okay. If you had a soundtrack to your life, what song or songs would have to be on it? Okay, one would be How to Have a Twin Sister. <laughs> Another one would be probably hmm, How to Be a Good Singer. <laughs> lastly just have fun okay what charity or organization is closest to your heart saving the earth of course i mean one step you can do is not cutting down trees reusing paper like for example when you're doing a giant project using a lot of paper don't throw away the scraps in the garbage bin throw it away in the recycling bin things like those could really make a difference Do you have a favorite quote or saying that is always on your mind? I have two. Be yourself and nobody's perfect.